Videos, animations and games are essentially sequences of images or frames displayed at a specific frequency and React 3 Fiber scenes are no exception to this. Say we want to animate a jumping ball, like in this example, we need to capture a sequence of frames while the ball is at a certain position in each frame. That being said, in React 3 Fiber, this happens behind the scenes through a mechanism called the render loop. Simply put, the render loop continuously captures the scene and displays it as updates occur to any of its components. So let's create and animate a simple box to see how this works. First, let's move the light outside of the mesh, which was a mistake I made in a previous video. However, this approach can still be valid in certain cases if done intentionally. Next, we'll create a component that generates a box mesh, so there is nothing special about this step. And now it's time to animate this cube. To do this, we first need to import the use frame in use ref hooks. We'll use the use ref hook to create a reference to the mesh, allowing us to access its properties. And we'll use the use frame hook to update the mesh over time. That being said, any logic placed in the body of this callback function will run repeatedly every frame, which could be 60 frames per second or more, depending on the display device. Here we'll animate the box by rotating it, dynamically increasing its rotation value by 0.005 units for each frame. 